Good morning, everybody. It's time for the daily review. So hopefully you guys are having a great weekend. Let's take a look and see what we can do. So we've got these 750 rewards. Now, it's because I'm full on these 750 rewards, i got to actually clear some of them out today. Um, probably I will try and play my Obliterator deck in this Historic Shakeup. Let's see if we can swap this one for a 750. We got lucky yesterday. No, but, but this is to cast 20 black spells. I need 15 or 16 more black spells here and 9 more for this one. So if I just play mono black something, then likely to get all three at the same time. All right, let's... Uh, Historic Shakeup is actually quite fun. It's nice to play with, like, I could probably list a bunch of other cards that need to be banned in here, but it is nice to play with actually these, like, broken cards banned. Uh, some of them, are, I don't think, are the end of the world, but still, I think it's uh, it's it's a nice... It's, it's a nice change to the, to the shake up there. All right, um, let's go take a look at the store. All right, so looks like more card styles. Let's check out daily deals. Yep, just all. Now, I have to say, I do really like the stained glass card frames uh, for, the, for the Planeswalkers, but I would never pay in-game gold for them, right? Just, you know, it's just not worth it. So... Yeah, hell with that. Let's see. Anything else? Bundles? No, no. This one had a card sleeve, the Salia bundle. Um, yeah, I, again, I wouldn't pay 2,000 gems for that. That actually works out to be like probably like 10 bucks in real life money. So I'm not going to do that for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, I guess if you actually like these two, you know, I potentially you could pay gold for, uh, you know, gold, not gems gold for card sleeves because again you can play them you can use them over and over but i don't know this represents like almost one whole like one whole draft right at one of those like premium drafts right or two one and a half like regular drafts so i don't know like i i probably would not do that all right uh going on though there's still this deal i still haven't decided if i'm gonna pick it up or not i've got lots of time to think about it i don't think that i'm going to your rush on it because it's, it doesn't seem like it's an amazing deal but if you are going to end up getting it you should get it while you know while you can like get the bonus packs and everything like that all right get this bonus thing i guess uh, you know well if you can because when this goes away that just goes away you won't be able to pick it up somewhere else but all right um yeah that's pretty much it let's see anything else so change that oh momir Okay, well, okay, so FNM at home Momir, basically, if it's the same as in, a, in uh, MTG Online, then basically what it is that at the beginning of your turn, you get like a, you can play a land, you, basically your whole deck is just lands, and then you just get a random creature card. Momir can be okay, but the problem is that it's just, um, yeah, it's, it's so random. Like, a lot of people really like that. I'm not sure if I like it. Like, I'll probably end up playing it just because, you know, you can, if you play, you get rewards from your LGS. But it's, de I can say it's definitely not my favorite format to play, but it is, I guess, kind of interesting. So, interesting. Momir. Uh, Corset 2021 is out. Looks okay. It looks interesting. I'd like to do a, um, I'd like to do a card review of that. I will try later on if I can. And... Yeah, that looks like it's pretty much it. I think what I'm going to do is uh, just I'll go through Obliterator deck here. I'm going to make one change anyways. Um, so basically what I did is I took away a lot of the extra um, extra, extra fight cards. So I found that I didn't really need them. And I found I actually got them quite often. Right? I didn't really need to have like 10 of them or 12 of them in hand or in the deck just to you know just to beat my opponent what i did find is that fountains of renewal is a really really great card to put in there especially with phylactery lich because you can put your uh, counter on the phylactery lich and then also um it also goes well with phyrexian arena because then you basically gain a life and then you lose a life from the arena you know and you're basically getting a free card every turn right um but there is a card i wanted to potentially put in instead of treasure map uh, to test out with so let's take away this and where is it it is the uh ozolith i believe ozolich do i just not have it 
I won't, I will not put money into it, but let's see, not collected. Interesting. Is it just not a card there? So, oh, it's a lith. There it is, and I do have one. Oh, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is take out the treasure maps and put the Ozolith in there. Now, the reason why is just because uh, basically you can, if you have the Phylactery Lich, then you can put the counter on the Ozolith and then on your beginning of your combat, you can move the counter onto the Lich itself, which basically makes them indestructible, right? So an indestructible 3-3, right? So, I mean, that's actually pretty sweet. You know, and it's also a little bit cheaper to get out too. So it's cheaper than, I don't know. The one thing is treasure map though. Let's go back to treasure map. So treasure map though, later on has the ability to scry and then turns into a land, right? So, you know, and then gives you also treasure and treasure gives you more card draw. So I don't know, I'm gonna try it out because I seem to get a lot of card draw already off of Phyrexian uh, Arena. But anyways, we'll take a look at it and just see, try it out and see how it goes. All right, um, hopefully then I will be able to um, stick it. I'll hope be able to get these rewards and uh, save and exit. But we'll see, this might, this is more of an all in on Phylactery Lich. All right, so anyways, that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned because uh, I will try and uh, broadcast the gameplay for this and see what I can do. But anyways, uh, I'll see if I have time again. Kids make life difficult sometimes. <laughs> yeah, uh, but anyways, uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.